Now, Meghan and Harry did not have the best year last year, but apparently 2024 is going to be make or break for them. Do you think that means professionally or personally? Well, I I believe both. I think when, you know, I I know when they struggle professionally, I hear through other people that it affects them at home. But, you know, I also would never judge them on that because Mm -hmm. who doesn't work that way when you are struggling professionally? Of course, sometimes you bring that home with you. Um, So do I do I think that it's you know, I, I think you're referring to the Us Weekly article that came out that said that Harry and Meghan were like dodging offers left and right. And um, this was really their time to, quote unquote, rebrand, which how many times have we heard that word in the last two years? I I don't know. I, I think that they have to figure out what their core values are and that it has to be reflected in, in the, the activities that they do for people to have any sort of interest in them or any sort of faith in them again. You know, Mm. you can't say upon leaving the royal family that you're going to live a life of service and then spend a significant amount of time on reality television for Netflix and Oprah Winfrey. We have not seen the life of service. What does Archwell stand for? What do you hope to accomplish with that? What is your mission statement, not only as a couple, but as a foundation? Uh, They've got to change public perception of them um, and, and really kind of Uh, put their money where their mouth is because there's so much talk and Mm. little action in the, in in the spaces that they're talking about improving. It's a fundamental lack of authenticity and people see straight through that and there's nothing that they can do unless they actually start to put their money quite literally where their mouth is and do some real genuine stuff that isn't all red carpets, isn't all, you know, dropping the puck at an ice hockey game and isn't all moaning on Netflix. 